Good morning. I'm standing in for Heather Bunce to read scripture today. Uh, Heather's uh, uncle and friend of the college, Harry Richards, passed away, and so she is with family. We'll be praying and keeping the Richards family in our thoughts and prayers. Matthew 6, 24 and following says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Let's pray. God, we come to you in the name of your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ. As we celebrate the awards and recognitions, we give all glory and honor to you. We pray that we may Use these gifts to be your people and a witness to your uh, kingdom to the world. Use the graduates to be servant leaders wherever they may go. We pray for those who are not yet graduating to seek you, uh, first your kingdom and be a good witness to the world. Help us all be servant leaders and seek humility. In Jesus' name, amen. This is a great day, a great opportunity to celebrate all that's been accomplished this year. Uh, to honor our graduates and just celebrate, a, a hopefully, a, a year well done. We want to invite you to join us as we worship together and celebrate that, remembering that, that God has been working in our lives and his story continues to um, work in our lives, and we're going to share that as we go out as well. <clears throat> From heaven you came running, there was mercy in your eyes. To fulfill the law and prophets, to a virgin came the word. From the throne of endless glory, 
to a cradle in the dirt. song that we're going to sing is a new song called I've Witnessed It, and it talks a lot about God's faithfulness and his goodness to us, and as we're singing it, I just want to encourage you guys to dwell on your life and think back and see how God has been faithful to you or how he's been good to you recently. And because it's new, we're going to start with the chorus, so you can kind of get familiar with that, and then we'll sing it through. And 
staff and faculty, I want to welcome you to Honors Chapel. This is our opportunity to celebrate with our students. And so for the students and graduates who are here, uh, for the family and loved ones, we're glad to have you here because uh, it's, a, it's a big accomplishment what many of these students have done. And so we, uh, we pray and hope that God does even bigger and greater things in their lives. But this is an amazing start that many of these students have accomplished. Like most institutions of higher learning, uh, Great Lakes Christian College takes academics seriously. Often classes are rigorous and require si significant amount of time and energy to succeed. And through the struggle, we're hoping to create better students and lifelong learners. And so achieving a high GPA is an accomplishment worthy of honor. The Dean's List is an award presented to full-time students who achieve a 3.5 GPA or above for the previous semester. And so if you achieve a GPA, um, that GPA had earned you a place on the Dean's List. And if that is you, you should be proud. As I call your name, uh, I invite you to stand and enter uh, to my right and uh, receive the honor that is due you. And then when you're done, exit uh, to my left. These are this year's Dean's List students. Dorian Apple. Eliana Apple. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mary Kane. Luke Carnahan. Kara Caswell. Alyssa Ernst. Laura Ganong. Shadaya Greer. Darren Harris. Todd Hillsman. Caroline Heistra. <laughs> Isabella Lab. Molly Lesenby. <laughs> Noah Lesenby. Sophia Marcalongo. <laughs> Jason McFarland. Congratulations. <laughs> Sakura Nakano.
Jordan Nichols. Alyssa Nugent. Congratulations. Carrier Pace. Hezekiah Trevino. Consistency through the, uh, the academic struggle is also commendable. And so we want to honor those students who uh, are full-time students who achieved a 3.5 GPA or above for the previous two semesters. Back-to-back 3.5 GPA or higher with all the pressure and the expectations truly is praiseworthy. As I call your name, we invite you to come up to the stage. Dorian Apple. Mary Beth Kane. Kara Caswell. Alyssa Ernst. <laughs> Laura Ganong. Todd Hillsman. <laughs> Isabella Lab. Jason McFarland. Sakura Nakano. Alyssa Nugent.
Carrier Pace. I'm sure it comes as no surprise that here at Great Leaf Christian College, we place tremendous value on the study of the Bible. And one of the things that we want to do is to celebrate those students who show a tremendous amount of excellence in the work that they do. Here in Honors Chapel, we want to single out one person who has been heads above the rest of his or her peers in the study of the Bible. And so we get out the Biblical Studies Award <coughs> as a way of acknowledging that person. This year, the recipient of that word, award is Jessica Rose Prieto. In addition to biblical studies, we definitely value the study of biblical languages. The study of biblical languages is essential for understanding the word of God, not only to understand it for ourselves, but to be excellent communicators to the church. And so just like biblical studies, we want to have an award that recognizes a student who's shown exceptional accomplishment in the study of biblical languages. We call it the Drachma Award. And so the same person gets that award as well, Jessica Prieto. Well, Jessica, um, our next award is given to a student who excels in the area of theology, and theology is a sister practice to biblical studies, but there are some people who are not only proficient, proficient in the content of the scripture, but they have a theological mind that knows how to integrate theological themes that span the scriptures and even get developed in important ways throughout church history and come into our a Christian worldview and Christian practice. And so this year's Theology Award goes to Jessica Prieto. The Stone Campbell Journal <laughs> is a journal of uh, leading scholars from the Restoration Movement tradition, both the Christian churches, Church of Christ, and Disciples of Christ, that brings together the finest scholarship throughout the movement. Uh, the journal has an annual conference, the Stone Campbell Journal Conference, in which scholars from around the country uh, gather together uh, to share papers and to wrestle with theological thoughts together, and it really strives to build an environment where the next generation of scholars can be raised up within the restoration movement. And so the Stone Campbell Journal organization wants to recognize uh, graduates from Christian colleges who show outstanding potential uh, for scholarship upon graduation, uh, who could maybe someday contribute themselves to the journal and present papers at the conference. And you may have guessed that this year's recipient of the Stone Campbell Journal uh, Scholars Award goes to Jessica Prieto. <laughs> Spoiler, the next winner is not Jessica. <clears throat> Though our mission is to prepare servant leaders, this goal does not begin after you graduate. We encourage students to find a place for God to use their gifts and talents while you are a student. And so to honor this dedication to God's kingdom, we've created the Christian Ministry Award. This is the first year we'll be handing this award out and it's presented to a graduating senior who shows passion for working in God's kingdom by being involved in a ministry in a significant way while attending Great Lakes Christian College. The recipient of this award has always been involved in ministry in an informal way, but a few years back partnered with 242 first as an intern and then as an employee. He would drive multiple times a week to their Brighton campus to pour into their youth. It is my hope and prayer that um, he continues to be used by God for kingdom ministry. The recipient of this year's Christian Ministry Award is Michael Wetzel. I 
have the honor every year of uh, giving the award to the history major student who uh, has performed excellently. And uh, this year it's going to go to Christian James Swash. And Christian, as you're making your way up here, I just want to say how impressed I was with your knowledge of your topic in your senior seminar presentation. You really knew that, buddy. I also want to give you a warning. I have looked at your transcript, and you are right around uh, a uh, magna cum laude. For those of you that don't know Latin, it means with great honor, 3.5 or above. So finish strong, buddy. The next award is the Choir Award. Uh, it is a unique award in that it is given to an upperclassman uh, chosen by their peers, so the choir votes. Um, and it's given to someone who has just consistently demonstrated excellence and Christ-likeness and a commitment to um, the music department and all that we're trying to do here at Great Lakes. And this year's recipient is Ellie Vitz. <laughs> Each year, it's my privilege to award a student, a student finishing their freshman year. A lot of these people have been graduates and upperclassmen. But I'm excited to award uh, to a freshman um, the Outreach Ministries Award. $400 will be added to their account for the fall. So yes, they have to come back. Um, but it's provided by the DuPlain Church of Christ missions team and solely just to encourage a freshman as they continue in their studies and their service at Great Lakes. Um, this student usually arrives on campus ready to continue to serve the Lord. They come already as a servant leader. Um, they become an example and also an inspiration for all of us, to all those around them, their fellow students, uh, faculty, staff, and administrators as well. And this year's recipient has been exactly that. So this year, I'm excited to give the 2023 Outreach Ministries Award to Luke Carnahan. At this time, we would like to highlight the generosity of many people. This college is underwrited by uh, hundreds of individuals as well as hundreds of churches who support this college on a regular basis. And sometimes we have opportunity to share with a donor the need for scholarships. And so uh, today we want to highlight the scholarships that have been funded so that your education uh, can continue. And it's the generosity of people that were here today. And so we want to announce the uh, recipients of the scholarship monies that have been given by donors and, and uh, individuals and as, as well as churches to fund your education. And um, I want to give you just a, an example of one because there are many, and Dr. Giles will be sharing what, what they are. But one in particular that uh, means a lot to many of us is the Brandon Stout Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is to assist students, of course, who have 
financial need and have declared youth ministry as their vocational goal. Well, the money was given uh, in memory of Brandon Stout. And Brandon was a GLCC student who was studying for youth ministry, who was killed in Iraq in 2007, serving his country. And so the person who receives this scholarship also receives a memorial brochure of his life and how he conducted his life for the Lord. And so we're proud to be able to share uh, the recipients of these scholarships, like this one uh, today, knowing that there are people who care about you, who are interested in your life, and who are interested in seeing that you be the servant leader uh, in the church and world. So I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Michael Giles as he shares the uh, reading of these uh, scholarships. Hello, so for those of you who are receiving a scholarship, you will not uh, come up. Um, but what I will do is I will read off all the names and then we will hold our applause until the end. Now, you, there is a uh, certificate uh, with the scholarship. They are over there and afterwards, um, I would invite you to come on over, receive your certificate and also take a photo over there by the college seal on the wall. So with that, let me uh, read off the names of the 20, uh, 2023 24 scholarship recipients. Lily Ballman, Dane Brandon, Tucker Brown, Mary Kane, Ty Campbell, Luke Carnahan, Kara Caswell, Eric Cooper, Angelica Coretti. Anastasia Douglas, Daniel Dumont, Alyssa Ernst, Ashia Estelle, Ali Farrell, Laura Ganong, Shadiah Greer, Jessica Heap, Dawson Grizzle, Bryce Heisler, Todd Hillsman, Amanda Hull, Hannah Jump, Keenan Kennedy, Rondane Lewis, Braden Long, Stephen Love, Sophia Marcolongo, Kimberly McAlpine, Sakura Nakano, Reese Perpich, Jada Reyes York, Rafael Romero Santana, Gabrielle Schock, Miranda Schultry, Solara Sheldon, Bodell Spearman, Elliot Stevens, Mystic Stryker, Isabella St. Louis, Jesus Tavera, Brianna Binton, Ellie Vitz, Chelsea Waller, Andre Watkins, Naquan Williams Day, Zamaria Williams, and Maritza Yescas. Please join me in congratulating the 2023 24 scholarship recipients. We saved the last two um, awards for Honors Chapel for last because for us, uh, they are among the two most distinguished awards uh, that we give out during this ceremony. And the first award is more than simply an award. Uh, it is induction into Great Lakes' one and only Honors Society. Uh, it is called the Sigma Delta Delta Honors Society, a society that you uh, enter into based on uh, achieving an overall GPA over your entire time at Great Lakes of over a 3.3 uh, average. And it is also the only award uh, that is uh, formally recognized and voted upon by Great Lakes' trustees. 
And so it is a privilege this year to award it to four graduating seniors. And the first recipient um, is Jeffrey Oliver Harris. I believe Jeff is watching online, so congratulations, Jeff, and your family. Uh, our second recipient is Carrie Deshana Anise Pace. Our third recipient this year is Jessica Rose Prieto. This year's final inductee into the Sigma Delta Delta GLCC Honor Society is Christian James Swash. The Diaconus Award recognizes a male and female graduating senior who demonstrated faithful witness among the GLCC family with an attitude of service, industry, and humility. This year's male recipient first came to GLCC in the spring of 2018 and brought with him a significant amount of life and ministry experience, including 10 months of mission work in Africa, short-term mission trips to Guatemala and Mexico, serving as an elder in his local church, helping to run a Christian after-school program for kids, and along with his wife, raising eight children of his own, four biological and four adopted. In addition to all of that, he and his wife have been the caretakers of three adult relatives with extreme special needs. One of his daughters is a current student at GLCC, and when I asked her to tell me more about her dad, she had nothing but praise for him, which is a pretty amazing accomplishment in itself. <laughs> she says, his kindness, patience, and attitude stand out to me. I've never heard him complain. Around campus, he has developed a reputation for providing a listening ear and helping classmates who are struggling with course material. This year's male recipient of the Diaconus Award is Eric Kane. This year's female recipient came to GLCC for athletics, um, but was captivated by Christ through her studies here and placed her faith in him just a few years ago. New Testament professor Ron Peters says that her comments in class discussions reveal that she is thinking very deeply about what the Bible says and what that word means for our daily lives. <clears throat> Those of us who witnessed her senior sermon saw this as she talked about reading about Moses and Isaiah and Jeremiah being called out of their comfort zones and how this convicted her to share her faith with unbelievers. She has become a mentor to her teammates and a model of showing Christian character traits to others. This character was tested recently over Christmas break when a burst pipe flooded her room. And as our maintenance crew worked hard to help our affected students, one student especially stood out to them for the grace, patience, and respect that she showed to the workers. This year's female recipient of the Diaconus Award is Hannah Joy Rosner.
Let's take just a moment and once again recognize all of today's award recipients. It's my honor to recognize the graduates of 2023. I will read the names of each of the, uh, the, uh, the graduates and you can remain seated and then when I've concluded, we'll ask you to stand all together and be recognized by our applause. Receiving the Bachelor of Science degree this year are Lance D. Anderson, Gregory Eric Kane, Haley June Krantz, Gavin J. Ewald, Zachary Brian Favaza, Samantha V. Frambus, Jeffrey Oliver Harris, Titus William Lawrence Jr., Dominic Andrew Noel, Ashley Owens, Carrier Deshauna Anise Pace, Jessica Rose Prieto, Hannah Joy Rossner, Christian James Swash, Michael Wetzel, Dominic K. M. Williams. Will the recipients of the bachelor degree please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Receiving the Associate of Arts degree this year are Micaiah R. Allen, Dane Edward Brandon, Joshua Robert Hooley, Jacob Ryan Lesenby, Leonce Ndayasaba, Alyssa Janae Nugent, Peyton Lindsay Olmsted, Emily E. Rector, and Jenna L. Wise. Will the recipients of the Associate of Arts degree please stand and be recognized. You may be seated. Hi, everybody. Could you please stand and join me in prayer? Let's bow our heads. Dear Lord, I just thank you so much for bringing us all here today that we get to honor and glorify you. God, I thank you that you have brought all of us through and guided the teachers and us students to finish strong. Lord, I pray for provision as we, us graduates, enter into um, the work field and just to seek your praise over our lives. Um, Father, I pray for the rest of the students here on campus that they would just continue to be gracious as they go to classes and filled with joy to learn about your word. Um, thank you so much for all you do in our lives, Lord, and it's in your name we pray, amen. I'd like to, I'd like to invite you to join us in singing the alma mater. Uh, the words will be on the screen, and our women's ensemble is going to help lead this as they work on a uh, an arrangement of that.